Hello, Byte. Uh, I thought since uh, typing it out would probably get half of you not to read it, I wanted to just say a few things for Passover. First, I want to wish everyone a happy and healthy Passover uh, to really feel uh, what it means, uh, especially in light of events that have happened the past few days uh, in Kansas City, uh, that there is still people who are uh, trying to get us out there. And uh, my hope is that there can be a peace and redemption for all people. Uh, Jewish people, non-Jewish people all around the world. I want to take this opportunity to uh, go over just the Passover rules for those who are not clear. Uh, nothing can come into the kitchen that's not labeled, or actually to the to really to the house, any communal space that's not labeled a uh, kosher Passover. Um, so basically, all of those hechshers that you see on the wall, plus a P, uh, or I would say kosher for Passover, all the food, uh, that is acceptable for Passover uh, right now is, has been purchased. Fruits and vegetables uh, are fine. That means uncut, the same deal, like, you know. Um, for people who eat, uh, and th those are found in where the cereal so n uh, normally is, pots and pans should be out. Uh, if, you, if you notice anything that's not supposed to be a Passover thing, uh, please sequester it. Uh, it's really, really important uh, to maintain the strictness of this particular holiday because everyone is implicated and it's not just normal kashrut. Um, so for people who eat kidney oat uh, in the uh, shelf above, uh, in, on the meat side, the one that's open has uh, the kidney oat things. For those who understand, will understand. Um, and if you have any questions over the holiday, you can feel free to email me. I'll be back uh, on Thursday. Also, as far as cooking on Yom Tov, uh, people are allowed to cook uh, from an existing flame. That means uh, where we'd be putting putting on the uh, the burner uh, without using the electric starter, which means just putting on the gas and then taking uh, fire from an existing flame. That should be like, uh, hopefully, the person who, who they will be able to set it up for whoever is cooking over uh, Passover, so the existing flame would be like a yurtzeit candle, and then you'd light it with the with the gas, and obviously be careful. And then you can have water uh, extinguish it, um, and then use the water. If that doesn't make sense, uh, it's only two days of Yom Tov, it's not a big deal, and a lot of meals should be covered. Uh, if you have any questions, again, feel free to email me. And uh, I think that's about it. Just really be on the lookout for uh, the kosher uh, for Passover signs and uh, obviously everything that the closet is cut off, everything that's taped up and paper bagged, not used. The only the refrigerators that are open for use are the main refrigerator um, and then the top of the white freezer, not the not the refrigerator. Obviously, the freezer is and and the pantry is barred. Uh, the personal thing. So there's no personal microwave. It's again, it's, this is everyone's keeping Passover unless, I suppose, in your own rooms and outside of the house. So, uh, again, Chag Sameach, and uh, sorry for the logistics, but uh, I just needed to make sure that everyone read, uh, listened to me. And also, the code word for this video is Pascha, P-A-S-C-H-A. Pascha means Passover in Aramaic, and it also is the current Hebrew word for Easter. I'm gonna ask you to email me to prove that you've watched this video, uh, and with that with that word P A S H P A S C H A Pascha. Thank you very much, and happy Passover.